question. Did you kill that dog? You know those ones who legit always try to pass you and then you're driving by them in the next lane when you reach, you know, somewhere. You're like, really? All that you were doing only got you to here? I'm the only sister up in this Bible study and I have to prove that Caribbean people really do have a special time of their own. Be Hi guys! It is Sarah, aka Chicken Chiquitita. Oh my gosh, but I'm on my way to Bible study real quick and it snowed up here in Toronto, y'all, and I didn't go anywhere all day, so my vehicle is currently covered in snow. Well, not really, it's just the hood, and I'm driving, okay, and majority of the people, I guess they've been on the street all day, so their cars are not covered, and I'm just that loser driving down the highway with all the snow just flying off the front of my off my vehicle over my car and I'm just watching it like sail in the back and hitting some of them vehicles tell me if that's not ghetto I mean I tried to brush it off but the, when I was brushing it off the snow was so compact I'm like I'm not gonna scratch my vehicle up just to get off snow right Box side, I'm in the wrong lane my exit's coming up yo and yeah so I'm just uh, speeding on the highway going the speed limit <laughs> okay maybe a little bit over <laughs> just to get my booty to Bible study because I'm late Bible study starts in one minute and I only have no okay we the time just changed Bible study begins now and let me just tell you I'm the only sister up in this Bible study and I have to prove that Caribbean people really do have a special time of their own up a little bit late I mean I am getting better for the most part, I'm not, even if I'm late, it's not like crazy, crazy kind of late because there are other people that are later than me, but <laughs> I, I roll up there maybe 10 minutes late sometimes. And right now I'm going to be 10 minutes late because I'm actually 10 minutes away from my destination. So this is not happening. It's not cool. So, but, um, I hope y'all are having a lovely, lovely day lovely Monday I woke up this morning checking out all these Monday memes oh my gosh some of them are so funny and I you know sometimes I really want to share the ones I really want to share on my Instagram but I'm like uh-uh because I know people some people are just gonna judge me you know like that has a cuss word in it because I don't really swear but those memes are funny as heck some some of them um, and I'm not talking like hardcore crazy swearing either but you know what I mean like I just have to keep it clean because I've got kids and I have to set an example and I want to set an example and quite frankly I don't want to have a potty mouth so but some of those morning some of them were so funny it was like one was like my <laughs> the first five days of the week are always so hard <laughs> I thought that is hilarious because they're only five days in the week and you're right they, they are just they try me. Today is Monday and I was trying to get my act together. I was getting a lot of the things that I need done, done, but it's just, I don't know. It was just, do I even know where I'm going? Okay, I need to get off this because I really need to figure out where I'm going. I think I know where I'm going. Yeah. But yeah, Monday just seems to always kind of go slow. Not always. Sometimes I'm more productive than others. And I was pretty productive today, but the day just seems to be like... It's like jet lagged, like I've been traveling on an airplane to Australia for like 24 hours and when I get there I'm sleepy and then I gotta catch up with a whole day's worth of sleep in order to function the next day. That's just what I feel like this morning. Sorry for my rant y'all and I need to go because the sun is blinding. Guys, let me tell you, okay? I know I said I was gone but here I am again. This guy was driving behind me. I mean, we're all going with the flow of traffic and I, we were all going a little bit, I don't know, faster than the flow of traffic. And this idiot just proceeded to drive so fast to pass me and pass the person in front of me just to get where? Like nowhere. And I mean, we're driving on a country road. It's not like the, it's, it's a busy, it's a busy kind of road. It's not necessarily a country road, but it's busy, but it's only a two lane. So when you're to pass the next person, you're driving into oncoming traffic. And this Fulio like is weaving in front of traffic. He's just like skipping one car at a time. 
okay um yeah go on with your bad self until your booty goes rolling down off the hill it's not gonna be at my cost though because i'm driving at the back and i can caution myself i'm like if i see him flying i can at least stop hopefully <laughs> because um you know i'm not trying to get killed today no sir re bob do y'all encounter those kind of drivers on on the daily i mean i don't not not so much but and i get it with these kind of roads you don't get to really pass nobody like that or anyone but y you gotta be careful like that person must be on some kind of drugs or probably not you just on i need to get where i need to get real fast that's what he's on anyways i, I i'm gonna go for now and uh just gonna say bye Felicia to that dude I bet you he's like two cars ahead you know those you know those ones who legit always trying to pass you and then you drive you're driving by them in the next lane when you reach you know somewhere you're like really all that you were doing only got you to here like for real for real whatever <laughs> hi guys so good night i am back from bible study um y'all saw me jamming in the car to my songs i love that's one of my favorite times driving home from bible study and listening to just music in the car and i get to chill and just be all by myself because as a mom at home i barely get that hey shush see my point the dogs are going to bed and he still proceeds on destroying my little piece that I just got anyways um, I just got home daddy's reading the kids um, a bedtime story and it's really late to be honest like I was kind of expecting the kids to be in bed when I got home but typical men I came home to find them awake and Let's just say, it's normal. <laughs> it's not, they're seldom in bed when I get home from Bible study. So that's a little bit of a bummer because um, it's just late and I'm already tired and whatnot. I do this flower thing on my head though because y'all know this is a wig. Uh, I should call her Betty or something. Let's call her Betty for now. Um, Betty just hasn't been treated right. I brought her home. I washed her, took care of her, wore, wore her for like... I think it's going on three weeks, two weeks. I think it's three weeks. However, <laughs> she, I twisted my hair underneath after I showed y'all that wash day. And because here in Canada, spring really hasn't sprung, I, you know, I was gonna, I had plans to wear my hair out, but then the weather, I had to go yell at Oscar because he was just, he was just not right. Anyways, but because spring hasn't really arrived here and it's just, there was snow outside, there is um, icicles, ice on the roads. It it just made me feel like, why wear my hair out? Yeah, it made me question, like, why wear my hair out? I just, it's kind of weird. With natural hair, like, I guess it all depends on where you are. And I know for most people with natural hair, it's just a natural part of them. They're just like, oh, it's my natural hair. I'm just going to wear it out, twist it, or however they want to wear it that day. But for me, it's a transition. I wasn't always natural. I, you know, I, I came out of... I tried this is my third attempt of being natural and I've been natural for three years and that's fine but I do like to wear my weaves and my braids in between so in between styles and when the weather fits I kind of have some kind of associations in like the colder winter weathers I just prefer to have either like a wig I don't weave my hair anymore not really I did it once this year but I usually like to have a wig or I have it in braids just because it's just warmer and it's I don't know. I find that in the summer, it's like the best time for me to wear my hair out. I just love sporting my natural hair in the summer. It looks so cute with all the cute outfits and whatnot. However, summer is one of those times when you have to watch humidity too because the humidity tries you in the summer and your nice, beautiful twists and curls will be looking like a big afro at the end of the day. Not even. So it all depends on where you live. The weather tries you. But I love my afro and I'm ecstatic to wear it. I actually have it in um 
So I have it in some giant twist. I know I love to go on tangents. I have it in some giant twist under this unit right here and the twists aren't helping because I do this unit does have a center part and I usually wear it with a center part but my hair is usually cornrowed with a center part so it can actually fit the way it should. Right now it's just twisted in all directions so they're kind of bulky and they make the wig not sit the way it should especially the front part like I can show y'all ain't no shame in my game there I, I'll unveil it for you I'm gonna y'all don't want to hear me last time I said I won't kill that dog someone seriously questioned did you kill that dog? It's like, no guys, I'm just playing. I, I love my dog. He's been around for going on eight years. We've had him since he was just a wee pup, but he is just annoying sometimes. Nevertheless, we love him and spoil him. Back to my hair. So, back to my hair. This is the current state, and y'all can just tell it's a wig plopped on the top of my head. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it, I... Just even going like this, I feel, just takes away from that <laughs> that whole area. Don't look at it. Stop looking at it. Why are you looking up there for? There we go. <laughs> Anyways, that's that's why I threw that on my head. I was wearing all black to go to Bible study. Like Michaela, like Michaela predicted. Watch. Black tank top. Black pants. But I am wearing this over it, which is green. Hey, yeah. And I decided to just throw that headband on because I figured it was going to give me a little bit of light. And it did. I, I felt good. So that is my little rant. I'm going to go now because it's bedtime. And I just wanted to touch base with y'all and um, just give y'all a little... Um, you know what? I should just take this time to also give... I'm just going to give a shout out to to all the new visitors on our channel new I'm gonna give a shout out to all the new subscribers on our channel we love you and appreciate you Oscar we love you and appreciate you and just to all of you faithful um, commenters I see you I know who you are so let me give a shout out to a bunch of my commenters so 